Hi friends, Miss Amanda here. Today we're gonna do an experiment. So what you will need is a plate, dry erase markers. I have four of them. I have a red, a black, a blue, a green. And you're gonna need a measuring cup with some water in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the markers and on the plate, I'm gonna draw hearts, but you can draw whatever you want. You could draw circles, but you have to color it in. So you could draw circles, you could draw flowers, you could draw um, spiders, you could draw silly people, you could draw just about anything you want. You could maybe try to draw letters. I'm not sure if that would work, but we could try it. So there's my red one. Now I'm doing my black one. Coloring it in really well. Oops, I got a little bit out of the line there, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Color that in. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're gonna do the blue one. So we're gonna make another heart. I'm gonna color that in. And then we're gonna do the green one. Oh, my green one's not working real well. So let's see if we can get this to work. Color your heart in. See, it's gotta have, see if you do that, it's not sticking to it. So, I'm not sure if the green will work but we will check it out. So once those are done, you're gonna fan it, get them to dry a little. You could also blow on them. And fan it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water that's in our measuring cup, and we're going to slowly pour it into the middle of our plate. Let's see what happens. I see that blue one's starting to move and it's floating. Yep, yep, yep. And the red one's starting to move. Oh, and the black one's moving. The more water you put on there, the more it will try to raise up the shape. So that red one's just stuck a little. Yep. That's why you've got to color them in really, really well because my green one, see how it's torn into pieces? The blue ones stay together pretty well. Oh, and then the red one's up there floating too. That's pretty cool. And then the black one kind of turned into a little different bit of a heart, but you can still see somewhat of a shape. So you can do this with any dry erase markers, and all you need again is a plate, dry erase markers, and a measuring cup with water. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time, and I'm going to keep on making some cool little pictures to see what I can get to float. Have a good day.